Uh, today we are representing Colatio, which is the name of our country. Originally, that is our founder there. His name is Elusive Colatio, and the name is a mixture of his name. Our country wants to have the greenest power available, which also gives us the most energy. For example, nuclear fusion here is some of the cleanest and most efficient energy. We also have a dam coming down from one of our mountain ranges, wind turbines on the mountain, and tidal power for our sea. I'm doing culture and history. And the first we have for national religion. This will be Christianity. And we've chosen this religion because there are not too many restrictions to their lives. I will also allow all religions as well as Christianity because we think we should have a diverse culture and every person should be able to be unique in their own way. The places of worship will bring towns and a few in each city. There will be one big temple in the mountains for pilgrimage and worship and a few scattered around the villages. I have located them in a slight scattered pattern to reduce congestion in one place, especially in the cities. Next we have politics. We are going to be a democracy country with a Prime Minister. We are deciding on a democracy because it seems to be the first way to get everyone a chance to have a say in how our country is run. The Parliament will be refreshed every 10 years so it gives them time for any long term plans to develop. When the voting commences, everyone already in Parliament has a chance to be put back in the voting so the Parliament can vote them back in. This is because the country may be doing really well with the Parliament that they've currently got. Now immigration. Our immigration policy will be no criminal records. Only people or families where at least one member of them has been to some sort of university slash college. And preferably only people with qualifications, especially in the industrialism or politics. We want only people with a good educational background because we want to know they will contribute to the economy and that they care about working and are good at work and their job so that the country can run to its best abilities and work by the most efficient method to achieve as much success as we can. Now the history. It was started off in 1013 by Elucid Platier and it finished, well, we're up currently 2013, where Colutia gets awarded for the most developed country and recognised as one of the top 20th largest countries in the world. Um, our national anthem is, we will survive through all pain and betrayal, we will survive through all times of good and bad, we will survive. Through the time of grief and hunger, we will survive. Through the times of joy and proudness, we will survive. The times of disaster and distress, we will survive. For no matter who we are, we will succeed. I chose these words because it emphasises the hard work and commitment that all people of our country have to for them to put in, and reminding them, and all who hear it, that we are always a developing country, always striving for success, and that our ambition as a country is that we will succeed no matter how much effort we need to put in to get there. Um, I was in charge of human geography. As you can see, each part of the flag had meaning, the green represent the rainforest on the country, blue for the sea because we have a big fish business, red for where our founder is from. Um, um, the cities, there's five different all over the island but not near mountains, so there's one in the mine. Um, our capital city is located near the beach so that people can fly or get the boat in. It is the first city they come to. Um, it's called Perch, as um, on the left side. Um, each city has a meaning. For example, Fulbourne is because the river is called Bourne, the River Bourne. Um, the transport ha there is um, main roads all over the cities. Um, some one coming from each side of the um, country, and then the rest are rural roads. Um, the airport is by Perch, and there's also a few more around the island. The train lines are mainly straight as it is cheaper. Um, we have a high speed train so that it's quicker to um, travel over the um, country. And there's park and rides in all the cities as well. physical geography of our country is quite, quite diverse. We've got a rainforest up to the 
west, and we have a natural harbour at uh, the south, and we have beaches running along the south coast. Uh, we have uh, two borders with countries uh, which are Italy and Croatia, um, and we have the seal on the bottom for like shipping and that. We chose not to be an island, so it would like it would be easier to trade if we were an island. Uh, but we don't want to be fully landlocked because then we won't have any beaches for tourism. Uh, here's a rough map of our island. Uh, that's um, our, where our most of our beaches are. Like that's like sand and tourism part. Uh, that's where our cliffs are. We have cliffs to, like reduce like, any chance of hurricanes or flooding. Uh, that's our natural harbour, which protects the harbour and all the boats on the side. Uh, that's our river and it runs down from the mountains on the lake at the top. Uh, that's our rainforest, and it's quite large in like our country, and we've got rainforests because it's tourism and a lot of money from logging. Uh, that's our lake, which runs into the river and we the mountains. Uh, we have the mountain range in the northwest of our country, and this acts as a barrier from invasions. If we ever like to get invaded by any countries, it's like harder to invade over a mountain, and it's like for mining, like natural ores, and for skiing, and some, like where the, our lake is based. Uh, this area is mainly flat land, so it's easier to farm and build any buildings or anything we wanted. Uh, Okay, I did the economy. Um, farming, we have a variety of meat farms, um, a dairy farm, and we have crops such as potatoes, strawberries, corn, apples, carrots, and cherries, and tomatoes. The farms are based on flat land, so it's a meat farm. Um, the fishing, we have big fishing industry down in the natural harbour where we catch. Tuna, lobsters, crabs, and perch, which we're known for. That's why we called the main city Perch. Um, we've got mining in the mountains away from the cities, so it's not blue there now. Um, factories, we have car factories, shipbuilding, and trains, which are all near the mining. That's not blue where the big cities are, where it will already be blue. We have our main bank, which is the Bank of Colatio, where there's a bank in each city. Um, we have leisure centres, there's a leisure centre in each city and a community pool in some of the villages. The Medical Institute, it does research for drugs and cancer and antibiotics and stuff. Then we have a weapons development area. We want this because it's good to be able to defend ourselves if we ever get invaded. And we don't want to be powerless. Thank you. That's all of you, yeah.